So I thought it'd be interesting to essentially, for this video, push society forward 50 years. Let's say it's the year of 2070, and then assess whether or not every one of the 16 types within this setting are going to be as well suited to the job market as they are right now. You know, let's say much of the workforce has become automated, or at least the workforce that concerns the physical world. I'm not going to start speculating about, you know, robots performing manual labor because the motor patterns involved are actually extremely, extremely difficult to program. So I'm not sure if in 50 years time we'll have robots, you know, lifting things, doing construction work, etc. But let's say the entire administrative section's been automated, many jobs requiring fine motor patterns over gross motor patterns may have been automated as well. And maybe AI, for example, has developed to such an extent as to play an important role within the financial sector. But you know, I'm not of the belief that all humans are going to lose their jobs, that there's only going to be a select amount of jobs available for humans and then everybody else is going to be on some kind of universal income. I'm of the persuasion that as we migrate to the virtual world, more and more jobs will open up therein. I believe the human-driven economy is going to be increasingly virtual. But before we venture down that rabbit hole, I want to go back momentarily to the physical world. I'd say construction and activities that require very complex full-body motor patterns, you know, will continue to be supplemented by machines and such, but they're still going to be a very strong human sector. And then you've got the entire entertainment sector. I think as more and more people become stuck indoors, if you will, we're going to increasingly long to see other people doing activities outdoors. Because, you know, by 2070, I think very high production green screen technology available today, for example, may even be within every household. So yeah, the entire entertainment sector may actually become increasingly digitalized. And I'm talking about the production as well. And, you know, by this stage, I really wonder if people will be able to tell the difference between an authentic nature documentary, for example, and a similar documentary that has been constructed entirely digitally. So maybe the entertainment industry won't actually be in the physical world at all. Unless you're talking about producing things inside a large warehouse. So honestly, most physical entertainment industries, for example, will just be tourism. But you know, people still want to get out of the house, so we'll still have plenty of performances, you know, music, theatre, comedy. So yeah, in terms of production for the screen, I think that will become increasingly digitalized. But in terms of performance, I think that area will still be going very, very strong. And I'll be very interested to know what you think the state of the physical world economy would be. How many jobs do you think will be filled by humans? Would we create entirely new physical realm employment sectors? But what I particularly want to explore in this video is how well each of the 16 types might be able to adapt, adjust to an increasingly digitalized job market. Because, you know, initially as a kind of knee-jerk reaction, you might just say, well, intuitive types might be better set up to adapt to such an abstract working environment. But then there was also reason to speculate here the degree to which people receive an intuitive score based more upon their generation than their actual cognitive functions. And that's just a working theory. I'd love to know what you think of that particular hypothesis. But I've noticed an increasingly large number of people who are actually sensors in terms of cognition not only receive an intuitive result, but particularly in the case of the clients I've had, be in every way, shape, and form more intuitive than they are sensory. So in a small segue to the video, I really do wonder if this sensing versus intuitive dichotomy should just be left behind entirely. But on top of that, it's also fair to say that older generations are becoming increasingly computer literate. And I was brought up in the 90s. I was still in school when MSN Messenger, you know, MySpace, the online communication world began to become increasingly popular. And I really can't recall people of a more concrete persuasion being in any way evasive of this new technology. I think, if anything, it was the more abstract and conceptual people, such as myself, who were a little bit slower to adapt to the online world. And, you know, there was definitely disparities. A lot of the people of a more concrete persuasion, I recall them being less inclined towards video games, for example, than me and my friends. But I think overall, even with the online MMORPGs and what have you. Everybody was using it for communication, for just hanging out. All that changed was the medium. And you know, 2020 right now, there seems to be a video game genre for absolutely everybody. I'm not really seeing extroverted feeling dominance, extroverted sensing dominance, introverted sensing dominance. 
as being evasive of the virtual setting. And you know, pushing forward again to 2070, you might be of the mind that such a virtual job market would require more innovation, more outside the box thinking. And again, I'm just not sure about that. I really do suspect that the jobs that will be filled within the virtual sector will be very similar to the jobs we have already. Not to mention the fact that our needs as human beings will not change. We'll still need face-to-face -face interaction. We'll still need to hear a human voice. In fact, as technology progresses, having an online conversation with someone may actually feel like being in the same room as them. We may all be equipped with, I don't know, let's think, uh, virtual reality headsets. Or maybe that's a bit archaic. Maybe it'll be more along the lines of contact lenses. You know, a combination of your contacts, wireless earbuds, and before you know it, you're hooked up within a virtual realm anyway. So I think in terms of the extrovert feeling domain will be fine. And you might argue that such a virtual domain would not occupy all of the senses. It would only stimulate our eyesight and our hearing. And I would beg to differ. I believe all senses would be fully emulated. So yeah, extrovert feeling elements, I think that's gonna be all right. Extrovert thinking elements, well, to be honest, I think extrovert thinkers have been loving this online world for a long time now. Introvert intuitives will do what introverted intuitives have always done. And I think introverted thinkers will be pretty adept at handling this new world as well. However, that still leaves the introverted feelers, the introverted senses, the extroverted intuitives, and the extroverted senses. And honestly, these four categories of types, I'm not so sure about. I'm not sure how well an introverted feeler will handle an entirely virtual setting. Many introverted feelers might just feel this overwhelming compulsion to reject it, see it as artificial. I think introverted senses in terms of handling it would do very well. I think in terms of mental health, introverted senses would be okay. But I do wonder the degree to which someone who excels so naturally at reliably and accurately instigating repetitive movement, handling the details, analyzing things under a microscope would do in this setting. Because if there's one area AI might be dominating within this particular timescale, I believe it would be fact checking the minute to that which requires an eye for detail, precision. So honestly, I'm a little bit worried about the introverted sensing domain. And don't get me wrong, I've actually typed very individuated ISFJs and ISTJs both. People would have absolutely no problem adapting to such a realm. But the hyper-introverted sensors may not have as much of a introverted intuitive dip. And it's very possible a level of individuation may be necessary for an ISFJ and an ISTJ to be able to fully adapt to such an online world, requiring of a more big picture persuasion. Not to say there won't be jobs to be filled, of course, but I just wonder if they will be able to dominate as much of the job market as they do at the moment. And I don't know, maybe my fears are misplaced. Again, I'd absolutely love to know from particularly introverted sensors, how well do you think you'd adjust to a realm more requiring of multitasking, for example? And now let's visit the extroverted senses. I don't actually believe this will be as bad as you might think, because you know, heuristic, extrovert sensing, ah, external concrete world. Ah, okay, that means they need the experience to be real. I would argue not. They need the experience to seem real. And I'd say there is a big difference. Some of the people I know who can sit in front of the TV for the longest amount of time, who can play a game for the longest amount of time, are themselves extroverted sensors. I know some more extroverted intuitive extroverted sensors, and they may struggle because they crave variety. They need not only a single experience to be tangible, but they also require multiple different concrete experiences to be branching off that one. And I guess the degree to which such extroverted intuitive extroverted senses will struggle will be relative to the degree to which there is a physical industry in the first place. And you know, those more physical complex motor pattern areas that have not been taken over by machines. Sure, they'll be open to those of a more concrete persuasion anyway. And actually going back to introvert sensors, I think introvert sensors will be absolutely fantastic. Which would, by the way, be at that stage a lot more high paying than it is now. And it'll probably incorporate a lot of technological elements. Not to mention just general maintenance of machines in the first place. And you know, staying on that backtrack, although most introverted sensors of the more artistic persuasion seem to be those who dip more actively into introverted intuition in the first place, I think that's still a little bit too much of a generalization from the data I have available to me. And you know, I think the arts in general will still be going very, very strong at this stage. But yeah, extroverted sensors. I actually believe they'll be very, very adaptable. 
being able to fill a variety of different roles. But honestly, the types that I worry about the most in this sci-fi setting that I'm painting are actually the extroverted intuitives, particularly the ENFP. I honestly think the virtual world would be too boring for these types. There's not enough stimuli to be taken at once. There's not enough novelty. It's possible there will be an entire virtual reality realm, to which, by the way, I think these types would be extraordinarily well suited. But you know, in terms of just sitting on your computer, performing relatively repetitive online work, even in terms of production filmmaking, you know, the stuff that I'm doing right now, as fun as they might look at the onset, they require a lot of repetition, a lot of planning, a lot of staying by the book. In terms of content creation, I'm just not sure about the extroverted intuitives, particularly the high standard that would be expected of people in, you know, 50 years time. Every YouTuber, for example, that wants to succeed will have to be a professional filmmaker in their own right, at least by today's standards, that is. And you know, ENTPs, I can see it, you know, they do have a very consolidated and tidy framework. They are happy to rely upon that framework, stick to a formula, and experimenting more upon the social aspect. But you know, just the sheer formality of content creation in 50 years time. I'm not sure a type whose creative process is so contingent upon an external medium will necessarily do that well in a virtual setting. Prove me wrong. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. So yeah, five types who I'm not sure will be able to adapt to a virtual online economy as well maybe as others can. INFP, ESFJ, ISFJ, ENFP, maybe ESFP. I actually believe all of the types might actually be able to handle it pretty well, with perhaps a particularly SI-oriented ISTJ in position number six. And let me know down in the comments, what type do you think would be best suited to such an online virtual setting? And what type would you consider least well suited? Because you know, the things that we require as human beings for our mental health, and the things that human beings can generally bring to any given economy, can be loosely correlated with a cognitive function paradigm. Extroverted sensing, I believe virtual reality would make up for. Extroverted intuition, I have absolutely no idea. It's possible this function will be accommodated, but I'm just not sure. And I'm not talking about extroverted intuition in the sense of generating internal ideas. That's more of an unconscious introverted intuition underneath the extroverted intuition we're talking about right now. I'm talking about extroverted intuition as in the function which is externally oriented. We have extroverted thinking. Well, I don't believe things need to be there in the raw and tangible to be more or less significant to the extroverted thinker. Introverted thinking, I think this is gonna be absolutely fine to be completely honest. There'll always be a need for internalized logic. That's not gonna change. You know, maybe centuries and centuries later, everybody will be obsolete. But in terms of 2070, I think introverted thinking will be absolutely fine. Introverted intuition, I'd say very similar. But a part of me does wonder whether or not introverted intuitives are generally the slowest to adapt at least in terms of what you have to do in order to accomplish X. Introverted sensing, I might U-turn just a little bit. I don't believe it'll be as much of a problem as I thought it would be. For example, there'll still be a need for management and you know, all of those things that encapsulate attention to detail, which by the way, does include fine art. In terms of the experience of introverted sensing itself, yeah, okay, maybe a type with a internally oriented concrete lens would be struggling to find meaning in an entirely virtual reality. So I think mental health wise, this might be more of an issue, but I think job wise, it won't actually be as bad as I initially thought it would be. But you know, let me know what you think. I actually believe extroverted feeling by this point will be fully accommodated by technology. I don't believe the online virtual world will be as weird and detached as it is right now. I believe that intrinsic human connectedness will actually be fully facilitated. So again, extroverted feeling, I'm not worried. But the introverted feeling aspect of extroverted feeling and introverted feeling itself is in terms of mental health, the one I worry about the most because introverted feeling is connected most to what it means to be human. And if everything now feels synthetic or natural, artificial, I'm really not sure how INFPs in particular, you know, being FISI, would adapt. In terms of the function itself, I think it'll be needed like ever before. So it might very well be that there'll be a kind of revolution. It might actually be because of introverted feelers that society manages to retain its humanity, whatever that might mean. But in terms of how an introverted feeler would adapt to such an environment, 
I believe they might seek to escape to the physical world and find what they can find therein. But feel free to disagree with me on that. That's just a speculation. Maybe introverted feeling dominance, extroverted intuitive dominance, some introverted sensing dominance. Maybe they won't be as technologically maladaptive as I might think they would be. So actually let me know down in the comments how well you think you would personally adapt. How well do you think you would be suited to such a world? How well do you think the people in your life will be suited? The conversation in the last two videos has been absolutely fantastic, so I'm honestly quite excited to hear what you think of this particular topic. Let me know your ideas and perhaps together we can come up with a more thorough answer to this particular dilemma. And that does for now bring us to the end of the video, but not to the end of the discussion. So thank you so much for watching and I hope it was enjoyable. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And you know, if you're interested in leaving a comment, please do, because I'd absolutely love to hear what you think. If you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button down below the bell icon next to it, that way you can stay notified of future content. If you are interested in exploring the fundamentals of CPT, I highly recommend checking out the CPT ebook. And if you are uncertain about your type or just like to know how your type applies more specifically to you as an individual, I highly recommend checking out the CPT type service as well. And finally, CPT is on Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting the channel and Ethereum at an additional level, that would be massively, massively appreciated. But of course, it goes without saying, I really appreciate your support over this medium as well. So that's it from me, and I'll be back in a few days' time. For now, take care of yourself.